Hi there everyone, this is Ben Ambrose at Medical Doorway again. In this presentation, we're going to focus on Palatsky University in Olomouc in the Czech Republic. This again is one of the most popular universities for students wanting to study medicine or dentistry. And we actually have quite a lot of students at this university and we've been working with the university for quite some time. So again, what we're going to do is focus mainly on the application and the entrance exam and the enrolment. But we will talk a little bit about the university as well. So we'll do a brief introduction, like I said, but then get straight on to the application and the entrance exam. And we've got a few questions to show you to kind of give you an idea of what the entrance examination can be like. So many of you will never have heard of Palatsky University or the town of Olomouc. However, the university itself is a historic university. It was established in the late 1500s in the town of Olomouc, which is in well, the south of the Czech Republic, the area known as Moravia. Now, it's a smaller town than the other destinations in the Czech Republic, Prague being the capital and Brno being the second city. Olomouc is about 100,000 people, so it is a small town in comparison to the others. So you do have to travel to Olomouc from Prague or Brno when flying to the Czech Republic. But it is extremely popular, and the fact that it is a smaller town means that the low living costs are lower than most other places in the Czech Republic, especially Prague. The university itself has had a huge investment, so when you get to the uh, university itself, and I've got some pictures coming up, you'll see that there's a brand new centre on the university with amazing facilities, both in areas of clinical and preclinical studies. Because it's a small town, everything is within walking distance, so you'll find that restaurants, shops, and even the student accommodation is within walking distance, but there's also an extremely efficient public transport system within Olomouc itself. So there you go, there's a map showing what Olomouc is. Now, as you can see, Brno is just to the southwest and Prague to the northwest of Olomouc. You can actually fly into Prague and then you can get the train direct to Olomouc. It's a very well connected area of the country. The train from Prague, if you get the high speed train, takes about two hours, two hours, 10 minutes, something like that. You can get a slightly slower train that takes about two, uh, two hours, 20 minutes, two and a half hours. And as is the case in the Czech Republic, public transport is extremely efficient, but also very cheap as well. If perhaps you are flying into Brno, you can either get the train or even an in-city bus. An in-city bus can take around about one hour to get from Brno to Olomutsk and usually comes in at less than four euros. Alternatively, you can get the train. It does take a little bit longer, but again, the prices are very low. Now, Olomouc as a town is the historical capital of the Moravian region of the Czech Republic. And the central square is absolutely beautiful. And this is where you're going to find most of the bars, cafes and restaurants. Now, around about 20% of the population of the town are students. This gives it a young and vibrant feel. So in this area of the town around these buildings, you're always going to find lots of different things going on in different seasons, especially in the run up to Christmas, as well as the start of the academic year. So the Faculty of Medicine itself is extremely modern. This photograph here is a picture of the new faculty building, which is actually connected to the old faculty building. So you'll get a mix of the old and the new. In addition to that, short walk away, about 20 minute walk away, is the student dormitories, which cost in the region of around about 100 to 120 euros a month, depending on the exchange rate. Many students will uh, find it quite easy to get a bike or to walk around Olomouc. Alternatively, you can actually get a three month travel pass as a student for around about 12 to 15 pounds uh, for a three month period, depending on the exchange rate. So let's talk about the application. And the application is very similar to all other universities in the Czech Republic. The first thing to note is that all uh, admission to the program is determined on your performance on entrance examination. And we will run usually two uh, normal entrance examination sessions, one in April, which is open to all students if you need a visa or not, as well as July, which is only open to students that don't require a visa. And is, the July session is usually more popular with those students who are finishing their A-levels in that current year that they're applying. Now, we often run exams in August. We sometimes have clearing exams, but this varies from year to year, depending on if there are any seats still available uh, when A-level results come out. As per the case with all of our other Czech universities, you can apply on our central university application form. There's the URL there. You can select Palatsky University in addition to other universities that we work with in the Czech Republic. Once you've paid the entrance examination fee, 
You'll also get access to our online check test prep, which has got hundreds of questions taken from a, a range of past papers from a number of universities, including Palatsky University. Now, the entrance examination for Palatsky University is a classic multiple choice exam. In this case, you're given two and a half hours to sit three papers. Chemistry and biology are mandatory. Then you have a choice in maths or physics. And in the maths paper, you'll find that there are less questions in comparison to chemistry and biology, meaning that you have to spend more time on each of the maths questions to figure out the right answer. On the whole, you'll be given a question and four potential answers, sometimes five, but on the whole four. Now, while most of the questions are awarded one mark, there are sometimes questions that have two correct answers, and that will be indicated in the question, and there'll be two marks for that particular question. I'm going to show you some examples of different kinds of questions that you might get on the next few slides. So let's take an example from the Palatsky University entrance examination. This is from chemistry. Simple question with one correct answer. Which of the following compounds is an ionic hydride? And in this case, it's CH4. So you'll get one mark for that. Again, no negative marking in this exam. You start off with zero and you work your way up. In biology, we have two options here. The first one question I'm going to show you is an example of a question with one correct answer. So what organelles are producers of energy? And obviously, in this case, the right answer is mitochondria. Now, you will also, as I said, get, question, uh, get questions where there are two correct answers. And here's a question that has two correct answers. So you are actually told on the Palatsky University exam if a question has two answers, and there are two marks available. So in this case, you've been asked to mark the correct possibility, uh, possibilities of complementary bases of tRNA anticodons and mRNA codons. So there's your options, and in this case, you've been given six options, two of which are correct. So let's say, for example, I chose two. I'm going to choose B and C. So I've ticked B and C, and then I've got the option of getting zero, one, or two marks. For those of you that know this subject inside out, you'll probably realize that B is correct and C is incorrect. So in this particular case, I've got one out of the two marks available in the biology section. Should I have ticked D, I would have got two, but unfortunately, I've only got one. Now, the marking schedule on the Palatsky University paper is a little bit different than some of the other Czech universities. First thing to say is, similar to other universities, you do have to get 60% overall, but in this particular exam, you'd have to get at least 50% in each paper that you take. Now, this can change from year to year. This is correct at the time of recording this presentation, but it can vary, so it's really important in the year that you're applying to ask what the pass mark is going to be because it can uh, differ from year to year. There's always a short interview. It's not a particularly uh, intense interview, looking at your motivations for studying medicine or dentistry, as well as looking at your ability to communicate and answer questions. Now, the results are usually available within a few days, sometimes available on the day, depending on how many people are sitting the exam. However, when you get the results, you will get your feedback on the three papers and find out what you've scored, but it ultimately will be a pass or fail. Once you've passed the exam, if that's the case, hopefully, you will receive your offer documentation. Now, this will be sent over email and in the post, and it, there's quite a lot in there, so do leaf through it when you receive it. The two things you need to realise, though, is there, is deadline, there are deadlines for accepting your place, and there are two deadlines. The first deadline is to sign the declaration to accept the place and that you're going to abide by the study rules. And the second thing is to pay a deposit. So Palatsky University requires a €1,500 deposit, which is deducted from the tuition fees. This, however, is non-refundable. So should you actually not enrol at the university, you will lose that €1,500 deposit. So you can't get that back. So really only pay the deposit if you are going to go to the university. It may be possible to defer as long as you pay the deposit, uh, but you need to check that when you've actually paid if you decide that's what you want to do. That's not always the case. It may be possible. Now, I've showed you a picture of the accommodation before. Once you pass the entrance exam and receive the offer documentation, you will have a letter in there granting you access to the student dorms. So that is given to you once you arrive at the university when you enrol in September. 
Now, like I said, Olomouc is very convenient to get to from both Prague or Brno, so I would definitely advise giving yourself the chance to get out there, see the town, visit the university, see the accommodation, uh, get a kind of a feel about the future that you're going to have in Olomouc. You will need to notarize academic documents. It is a very simple procedure for Palatsky University. No translation is required, but it's good to make sure you get that done well before you go out to save yourself any rushing around when you're out in the Czech Republic. Now, as with uh, our service, you will always have the opportunity to come to our Czech pre-departure briefing and meet other students going to Palatsky University, as well as students going to Masaryk or one of the Charles faculties. And again, this is provided completely free of charge by Medical Doorway. Now, as is the case always with our Czech University partners, you're going to have the on-the-ground help of the Medical Doorway team when you arrive in Olomouc. This is 100% free. Now, we'll help you with your enrolment, and here's the Medical Doorway students enrolling in September 2016, as well as helping you get set up with bank accounts, as well as giving you an invitation, both for you and your family, to come to the welcome meal, which we always arrange in Olomouc. This is a really good event for students to get to know each other, but also for parents to get to know each other as well, because they'll be going through the same thing that the other parents are going through when their uh, sons and daughters are actually out there studying in Olomouc. Now, we've been working with Palatsky University for a number of years, and as a result, we've actually got quite a large number of students pursuing their medicine and dentistry studies out in Olomouc at the moment. And here's some pictures of our most recent enrolments. So if you need more information, if you head along to the Medical Doorway website, that's medicaldoorway.com, you'll find a lot more information both on the university page of our site as well as the newsfeed. Alternatively, drop us an email, hello at medicaldoorway.com, and we'll get back to you very quickly. Or give us a call. If we're not in the office, it does come through to our mobile. Alternatively, give us a ring, drop us an email, and make an appointment to come and visit us in Newcastle under Lyme. And we'd be delighted to welcome you and talk about all the different options that you've got to study medicine in Europe, including those at Palatsky University.